a Macintosh user, chances are you've tried to open a file, be it a Word document or a text file or an email or a video file or a song, what have you, and you open it and it opens in an application that you don't really want it to open in. For example, I could open a Word document and it opens in Pages and not Microsoft Word, which is installed on my Macintosh as well. You may open a JPEG picture and you usually want JPEG pictures to be opened with Photoshop, but they're opening in preview. So this is how you can set the system default or the default application for each file extension. It's a little bit tricky and it's a little bit weird. If you don't totally understand me, I'm going to provide a little bit of an example. Right now I have black and yellow. It's a music video by Wiz Khalifa and it is a .avi file. Now .avi is not supported by QuickTime fully unless you install some additional drivers. They're very easy to install, but I don't want them installed on my machine. I don't want them taking up CPU resources, so I've just not installed them. Now the issue is when I open a, uh, this file, it's gonna open in QuickTime Player and well, the video plays, but there's no sound. So what I use instead of QuickTime to play AVI files and pretty much all video files is mPlayer X, which is free from the Mac App Store. But I can open this in mPlayer X by doing this, and it works as you can see, but the issue is, well, it's kind of a pain in the butt. I have to right click it, then go to open with, and then file down. Can't I just open every AVI file in mPlayer X? And yes, you can. So what you need to do is click a file that has the file extension you'd like to change. It can be for each individual file or for system wide. So I'm gonna click Command I. You can also go to the file menu and click Get Info. This window will pop up and you'll see all these little tabs with arrows. And the one we want to open is open with. If you see this right here, you click that and this little pull down will pop underneath. Now, right now it's opening black and yellow.avi in QuickTime Player. I would like to, it to open in mPlayer X. Now, I've just enabled this singular file to open in mPlayer X and when I click it, it will do so. Now the issue is what if I want to make all AVI files open in mPlayer X because they'll, none of them will work in QuickTime Player. So what you can do is you go over to here, you select the application you'd like it to open with, and then you're gonna click change all. You have to confirm this, but every similar document, every document labeled .avi will not open in QuickTime anymore, but will open in mPlayer X. So that's how you can change the file extension. It's really handy, like if you do graphic design and all .png files open in preview and you'd like all .png files to open in Photoshop, you can change that and it's a lot easier than right clicking or dragging and dropping. And uh, once you get it figured out, it's pretty easy to do. So there's that tip of the week on the Macintosh. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe